before I start. I do have tabs for any of the stuff you see me play on my, my channel. Uh, for a small fee, I can send those to you. Just hit me up in my email. I'd be more than happy to help you out. Let's just first uh, look at Gilly's chords for this. It's just A minor 7, which is just A minor, with that middle note taken out, a C, a G, and a kind of incomplete D. You don't even need the pretty note on top, because she's actually going to be using this A in here. Those are the four chords for which she does finger picking, our basic Travis pattern. I think you can see here, let me rotate. Now notice on a G, I don't have to do anything but that. When you're finger picking, it's kind of convenient. Now she will, yeah, it's actually fun at this angle. I'll just keep it at this angle. C, um, so again, A minor seven. to the C, she's actually going to alternate that bass note. It's a fun pattern. G, notice I don't need to really hold down too much. That D, that's kind of incomplete. Okay, um, Mr. Rawlings comes in with his opening solo, which, gosh, it's quite beautiful and simple, but Timing is weird. Wait three beats. Let's break it on down. We got two and zero. That's his opening. Notice he doesn't pick that one. Two, two, two. Oh, oh, two. Slides to four, oh, four. Slide back, oh, two. Oh, two. Oh, two. Oh, two, two. Oh, two. Wait three beats. Two, three, oh. Two, oh, two. Four, zero. Two, one, one. Oh. One. Yeah, it's just his his style, that floaty, you know, vaguely following the chord changes uh, of that kind of, you know, on his, he loves to get that four on D chords, by the way. That makes a big D9. And then again, me, I always like to see if I can do the melody if possible, so I did a little, oh yeah, two, four, two, oh, we'll slide back from five. Just working my way up two, two, four, five with that unison. And then oh four four two 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 goes around again. So even if it doesn't pay. And then I just merged the first little guitar solo to the second longer one to just make a really long one. It starts with a three. Just kind of sliding it around. Three goes to one, back up to three. And then he just plays around with. And then a little uh, three, one. Three slides to four to oh. So that's and kind of a little pretty little G thing. One oh one oh two two oh two oh oh two three four oh two three oh two. That's officially just the first little break. Merge two, second break again. Slidiness three goes up to five, and then. So that is, you know, I'm, it's hard because I don't know whether to count up from the capo or not. I think I, let's pretend it's, we're still counting up from the capo because that way it still relates back to A minor. Three does up to five, 
895808 and then there's this little twinkly bit 08070080058 that thing you can kind of do I do let's see how you go You know, as long as you're just kind of keep the twinkles going, you'll be all right. Yeah. And then this cool thing, he's going to go. So that's a little four pulls off to two. Get zeros up there. Four of those, and then he's gonna work his way up. Four, two, four, five, three, five, eight, ten at the edge. Uh, that's so cool. So that's you know, if I'm counting from capo, that's ten and seven. Not afraid to hit those zeros. Get that finger around. Uh, it, again, I'm counting from capo, so that's 10 and 7 to me. Watch that middle finger. And this is so slick. A little arpeggio there. What, what chord is that? That is, in real life, a C. So yeah, that's at the point that the song is on a G. He does a... And so yeah, that is O, oh, nine, seven, eight, seven, ten. That's you know. You just practice that a lot. Yeah, and then it comes back down. And then once you're there, keep those two together to go back to this kind of. And then the last little lick, O. Oh, I'm calling that four to five to seven. That's so cool too. O's. Yeah. And then you're back around to another verse. So in my mind, yeah, this whole solo is kind of, I, if the song is in A minor, and really that's D minor. He is vaguely, vaguely, that is related to our usual blues box, but he's kind of in front of it. Yeah, truth be told, this is one of the solos, uh, other solos of his I can understand a little better and explain a little better, but this one I haven't fully wrapped my head around it. It's kind of weird the way it's out in front like that. But there it is. I hope that is helpful for you. It sure is beautiful. Uh, thanks so much for watching.